Hello, beautiful, precious brethren. Hallelujah. Give God all the glory for this word. We praise him for the bread of life. Hallelujah. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. So turn with me to Matthew 16. Hallelujah. How are you guys doing? Hope you're all doing well. It is a struggle these days. Seems like the enemy wants to give life to the flesh and those that are dead to the flesh. And that's what is going on. Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. And what is the devil doing? He's giving kickback, right? Why? Because he wants to give fle uh, life to the flesh. Jesus, you know, we're crucified with him and buried in him in baptism and his resurrection we're we have our life in him and what the devil wants to do is give life back to that flesh that's dead buried and this is where we have to have understanding that um, when the blood of christ is the atonement for our sins jesus christ removes all of our sins as far as the east is from the west we're no longer of our flesh anymore beloved we become born again. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Um, when you're born again, <laughs> you're no longer of the dead man. Hallelujah. You're now quickened, a temp part of the temple of the living God, and you are the temple of the living God. Hallelujah. I hope that people can understand the difference between that flesh and blood man that died and what was what was um, quickened for the testimony of Jesus because now you're a child of the living God. You don't associate with that old man anymore, okay? What did the apostle say? I must decrease so he can e increase, so the spirit can increase. What does the Satan want us to do? Wants you to increase so that you're not operating in the body of Christ. Christ body so me we'll give an example of me if i want to give life to that old man i really don't because in the spirit we don't want to we don't want to in the new creature we never want to do anything uh and you can't <laughs> in the new creature this is where you're gonna have some understanding the body's quickened because of christ quickening it by the holy spirit so we could be an ambassador for Christ. But we're not from here anymore, saints. When you're born again, where are you born from? You're born from above. Hallelujah. That's a new creature. And where is that creature held? In Christ in heaven, in the Lord in heaven, as 1 Corinthians 15 says. So if you're in Christ who is in the Father and the Father is in the Son and Christ the Son is in your heart. And he's got that new creation. Can Satan get to it? Satan cannot get to that new creation. This is where the devil is trying to put fear, doubt, worry, pain, suffering. And you know what? Certainly you could feel a lot of stuff on your body if um, Satan has been able to get a wedge in the mind or the heart. And that's where we have to renew our mind day by day and seek God on these things and ask him to help us with these things. Because if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Galatians 5.18 For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Romans 10. And you're under grace, right? And so Matthew 16.17. Let's read this, beautiful, precious brethren. Because Jesus said your faith has made you whole whole not part when you're born again are you a part of a born again baby or are you a full born again baby <laughs> see the devil wants you to think that you're only partly saved you're only partly or progressively saved and all these weird doctrines of devils they want you to think that you're being saved and even though the scriptures say you're being saved, it doesn't mean that you're not translated into the kingdom. You're translated into the kingdom the moment you believe. You're no longer of your old man. See, Jesus cut that flesh, the veil of the temple, and he went in, our high priest, into the holiest of holies, the forerunner for us, so that we can live. Hallelujah. As I'm giving this to you, I'm getting healing. Praise the Lord um, from the enemy. The enemy tries to 
to deceive us, beloved. That's his big thing. Big thing is deception. So it says in Matthew 16, 17. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. What did he say? He said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God, to Jesus. Jesus said, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. So why is he blessed? He's got the testimony of the Father revealed to him who Jesus is. And that is a testimony that is not of flesh and blood. Beloved, and what does he continue saying? And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What is that rock? It's the words that he spoke. Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Beloved brethren, that is the testimony in a believer that is from heaven. It's not a flesh, blood, water testimony, but it's in your spirit. That testimony has to be put in your spirit. And then when you get born again, you're born again with Christ, the spirit of Christ, the, the spirit of his son. Remember after he was he was died, was buried, resurrected on the third day, he went up to heaven, he came back to the apostles, and he breathed on them and said, Receive ye my spirit. See, that's whenever Peter got the spirit, okay? But he had the testimony prior to that about Jesus, who Jesus was. Praise the Lord. The Lord was already, already drawing him because he was with Christ, beloved. And that's where then the power comes with the spirit of truth after Pentecost. So I hope that this blesses you that you're translated in the kingdom of, the dear, of God's dear son in the moment that you believe in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because now we get the spirit and that's why you're born again. We're going to go more into this in, in just a minute. Agape loved you, brethren. Peace be upon you. And be well in the name of Jesus. Because by his stripes we are healed. He is our forerunner. Agape love to you, beloved brethren. Holy ones of God.